Okay, so now I'm just going to be ripping paper off of the thing so I can trace it and then the kids can paint it. So this is what it looks like. I just kind of rip it like this. So you like pull it out and you rip it so it's a clean cut. The kids are not very good at ripping them. They rip the paper in half. Um, so I like to do it for them so we don't waste paper. And I get it done a lot faster than they do, so. So yeah, this is what we're doing. I'm probably gonna get some black too. But we're gonna do white first and then maybe we'll do black tomorrow. Just because black is on the floor, it's not on here, so I have to literally like use scissors to cut it. And it doesn't look as good. And it takes a lot longer, so. We'll just do white today. And then maybe tomorrow or Thursday we'll do black. Because the kids still have to finish what they were painting yesterday. And then they're probably going to have to finish whatever they do today. Um, so tomorrow we should be done with all these. And then Thursday we'll bring out some black. And I also like to cut these down the middle too so that they are smaller. That way they stay up on the walls a lot easier. But yeah, lots of different sizes of them too. Some are just banners that say Halloween. Like this will just be a banner that could be hung. So, lots of cool things. It's gonna look good though. I'm excited. Okay, so that should be enough. I'm just going to tape them up to the projector screen, trace the image that I see, and then the kids will have it to paint. And I only want them using black right now. So that way we aren't wasting as much paint, but yeah, so I'm gonna show you what I do. I have it in another video. I'm gonna link that video for you right up here. And then you can just see me doing it here too. So here's what it is. There's my projector. Obviously I have to move my cell phone caddy, but let me show you. you over here a little bit closer okay so moving this down here I'll get the paper so I've got white paper here and I'm just gonna take like a small piece of tape and tape it on this cold don't drop it like I did tape it on oh my gosh Okay, small piece of tape on the corner. Now you don't want to use a lot of tape because when you try to take the tape off, it can rip the paper. And obviously you don't want that to happen because then your poster is just going to be ripped. So one on each side at the top. I don't do the bottom, just the top. Let me put this up and then answer my phone. All right, so we got our paper up. Um, it does fold like that, but you just hold that down when you're um, tracing. So let me bring up a picture that I want to project. So. Okay, so I have the image projected. Now I'm just gonna grab a pencil. And then I'm just gonna trace it.
placed it. You can even see it, it's on here. And then I labeled like each part black or white, so a B or a W, so the kids know like what color each part goes. And I'm only giving them black paint. So from there, they just like fill in the colors. It's almost like those paint by number things, except instead of a number, it's the letter. So paint whatever letter that is. So here we go, we got another one and we're gonna do some more. I gotta do those all period. Next one, I'm actually gonna put multiple ones on the same picture or the same paper just so we can cut them out and put them around. Or even if I don't cut them out, it'll be like more filled, it'll look cooler. So I'm, I'm taking these zombie hands and I'm gonna try and fit three onto this paper. 